Aries, welcome back to my channel. Let's have a look at what 2023 has in store for you as a whole. You guys can actually get this spread as a personal reading. So if you have personal concerns that you want answers on, uh, definitely check out my website. And pretty much all my information will be in the description and comment section for you. But let's get into it. I'm excited for the new year as well. Hopefully you guys have an awesome New Year's and New Year's Eve. And let's see. So Aries, for 2023, what's the energy around my Aries? Aries, for 2023. So something positive, something negative. Gold to strive for. The lesson of 2023, and let's move this over. Areas of self-growth. Relationships in 2023, career, health, spirituality, and overall energy, and where you're at now, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So with the Five of Swords showing up as your current energy, there could be this energy of you questioning whether or not you are on the right track. You could be questioning a lot of relationships around you as well, wondering if certain individuals are playing mind games with you, uh, who is genuinely on your side. You are definitely in a space too, to where you want to protect yourself. You could find yourself maybe wanting to withdraw or be careful of who you give the time of day to. You could also find yourself realizing where you could self-sabotage at times or do things to kind of hinder yourself from progressing or moving forward. So by you realizing this, this is bringing attention to ways that you can kind of take your power back instead of being in this defeatist mindset or feeling like just in this energy of being overwhelmed. Uh, but you're definitely in a space to where you can recognize other people's true intentions and you're starting to recognize how you can sometimes stand in your own way and where you may need to change up in certain ways. Now, going into the actual spread, something positive that may come up in 2023. With the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse, you may not have to work as hard as you may be thinking, okay? Uh, you could be also have, you could have money come to you a lot easier during this time frame, especially if you're showing up. If you have like a business, if there, if there was like this slow energy of things not progressing or things just taking a while to get somewhere, this is the energy of you finally seeing progress or seeing things actually move along. Uh, if you are also experiencing like some sort of health complications that slowed you down, you may be up and moving, okay? Definitely though, with this card, this is still making sure that you are being careful of how money is being spent and also just your work ethic in general, but definitely positive energy around money shifts and health. And you also will be removing yourself from things that have been very taxing in terms of like romantic relationships or even friendships where you've been trying, trying, trying and nothing has been working. Now, something negative, I do have the Corona of Swords. So there could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius in particular who could have a negative effect on you. This could also be sometimes your mindset. Be careful of going into this mindset of thinking of things from this negative point of view or wanting to assume the worst. You could also be very realistic during this time frame to where it's really hard for you to like get out of that and step into more of this like emotional way of being. Like even in dating, you could find yourself just more like cut and dry or wanting people to be more cut and dry maybe that's an issue there could also be issues with communication maybe you have days where you just don't really want to talk like that in 2023 now um this is also being careful of what you spend your time focusing on because since we are dealing with swords we're dealing with the mind so yes now goal to strive for in 2023 with the two of pinnacles balance balance in areas in your life where you're experiencing ups and downs. So this could be in your love life. Um, for some of you finances, you could have some months where you're doing really good financially and other months where it's a little bit of a struggle. Or 
If not that, you could have multiple streams of income and needing to balance out the attention that you show to them, um, balancing out your work and home life, and also making some crucial decisions this year connected to um, money, like maybe getting property or getting a car, or making some sort of big purchase, or even in terms of dating, having options and needing to make up your mind. So balance and finally making some crucial decisions that you've been sitting back on. Now, the lesson of 2023 with the Nine of Swords, do not get caught up in your head. Do not get caught up in anxiety to the point to where it throws you off of focus. It throws you off of your goals. Because if you let anxiety sweep over you and you just keep all your ideas bottled up or you just think about things that you either A, can't control or let consume you to a point to where they control you in bad ways, uh, this is going to be a big hindrance. So lesson of 2023 is to work on your personal anxiety and make sure you're not letting it uh, overwhelm you and make your nightmares become a reality. Area of self-growth in 2023 with the Six of Cups in reverse, this is finally being able to release a negative past or past events, even childhood trauma, you could be finally getting to a point to where you can deal with certain childhood trauma um, issues a lot better. And you find that it's not as difficult, even in connection to like maybe some parentals that you have, where you don't have the best relationship, there could be this like reestablishing or working through uh, the traumas of that. Now, when it comes to your relationships in 2023, I have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, or no, not the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So any past situations that have been a waste of time will fall to the wayside, and it will be hard for you to ignore the fact that it's a waste of time, especially if this is, you know, people trying to pursue you and they're not being consistent, or you're just seeing that your efforts are going to to like it's to no avail any superficial relationships will be falling to the wayside also with the seven of pentacles in reverse uh there could be this energy of you guys rushing into a relationship or someone trying to rush you into one so definitely take your time okay some of you could also be just very money focused that you don't really have the patience for dating i do see that for a lot of you speaking of career though we have the Hierophant in reverse. So a lot of my areas could choose a non-traditional career. Maybe you're a spiritual advisor. Maybe you're an entrepreneur in some degree. You could be working in a career or field or wanting to work in a career or field that's a little bit unorthodox or different than uh, what people usually would, you know, go for or what people or what you may usually find yourself in or think you would be in. Um, also with the Hierophant in reverse, you could be tired of, like I said, big corporations or like working for a company here. You could just wanna like break away and do your own thing. Hmm. Clarify the Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. Also for a lot of you, this is making sure as well that you're not just doing anything uh, just for the financial aspect. Okay. Some of you guys could be making good money too, but needing to be careful of spending habits or better money management. Now, health in 2023 at the Knight of Swords. For a lot of you, um, it's more of your mental health that could be needing a huge focus. Not saying that you couldn't have other stuff, but what I'm seeing with this Knight of Swords in reverse, some of you, your mental health could be the cause of you not feeling as determined or focused as you need to be. So you need to make sure you're attending to your mental health or at least paying attention to what's going on in that area so that you can be consistent. Yeah, some of you guys could be like having memory loss a little bit or like a hard time with like feeling lethargic or just burnt out. So definitely taking care of yourself is gonna be essential. 
Now, when it comes to just your spiritual growth in 2023, I have the page of Pinnacles. So you're definitely going to have a lot of opportunity for growth in 2023. And this is going to come in the form of maybe uh, like friends around you kind of assisting you towards growth. Or like for some of you, a friends with benefit situation could um, push you into a level of growth. Or even you... Like having this desire, especially if you're like in your beginner stage of spirituality, and even if you're not in your beginner stage, you could find yourself learning a lot more information that could be very valuable to you during uh, 2023, if applied in a practical sense. Now, overall energy for 2023, I do have the chariot, and this is a beautiful card to end with. This is the energy of success. This is the energy of spirit giving you the okay to go, take off, especially when it comes to your goals, your desires, your wishes for 2023. As long as you guys are having your eye on the prize, your eye on the vision, you guys are bound to succeed, okay? The chariot is a beautiful card because this is the energy of arriving <laughs> and, and making it somewhere so you guys overall will literally be on this journey towards arriving okay let's pull two last cards so that we can um, kind of tie everything together what is the overall advice for my Aries for 2023 what is the overall advice my Aries need for 2023? Okay, so we have a card that fell. We have release shame. Let's read it. It says, if you've been shamed for being sensitive or anything else, tell yourself I'm ready to release this shame. I am lovable or I am a lovable, caring person. And we have assert your authentic needs in a kind, confident tone. Speak your needs rather than hiding them. Empower yourself to be authentic. So with both of these cards showing up, make sure that you are not getting into this energy of imposter syndrome with you stepping into a new version of yourself. It can kind of feel weird with you, you know, leveling up in life and then people trying to make you feel bad for you leveling up. So release the shame of leveling up, release the shame of making decisions that put you at the forefront and other people judging you because of it. And with assert your authentic needs, this is you guys having to speak up for yourself throughout this year. That's how you're going to align with opportunities is by speaking clearly to the universe, speaking clearly to yourself and others in order to get exactly what you want. So this is what I see, Aries. I wish you the best of luck for 2023 and I will talk to you later.